Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from Homemaker. Before I start with our today's video, I would like to thank all our viewers who have liked and subscribed to our channel. And if you haven't done it so far, please don't forget to subscribe for our new releases every week. It really means a lot to us and it also motivates us to um, bring out new and informational videos every week. So let's get started with today's video. Today I will be potting my propagated peperomia cuttings. So here I have got this peperomia argyria or watermelon peperomia cutting with me and as you can see it has got quite well developed roots. Um, so it, this is a leaf cutting that I took from the base of this leaf and I think I took this cutting a month ago and the roots actually started developing just after um, four days I could see the tiny little roots coming out and now they are quite well developed you can also see a tiny little leaf green color leaf coming out from the bottom over there and I have also got one more cutting um, which is this peperomia looks like peperomia mendosa but I'm not sure about the name of this plant um, and this is also peperomia this is a half leaf cutting that I immersed in the cup of water and now as you can see the roots are quite well developed and the three little leaves have come out and the fourth one is on its way and it is quite ready to go into the soil um, so uh, while I'll be putting them into the soil I will also talk about the soil mix and the conditions that you need to keep in mind um, after you pot your propagated cuttings so stay with us till the end of this video all right so now I'll just move the camera a little bit down so you can look at the soil mix that I am using so here in front of you can see um, the coco coir i'm i am using coco coir but you can use coco peat as well and i have a little bit of um, uh, perlite in it um, so basically why i use coco coir is because it has the ability to retain moisture in itself for a longer period of time and this will avoid watering your peperomias again and again and um, reducing the risk of overwatering and reducing the risk of development of the root rot so this is the perlite that i've added if you don't have perlite you can add coarse sand or or you can add pumice into your soil mix um, if you want you can also use succulent mix for these plants but because succulent mixes have got a lot of perlite and they tend to dry out very quickly whereas these plants are tropical plants they love humidity they love moisture so I would recommend you to go with a PD soil because the plants will benefit with the PD soil more than the succulent mix always use a pot that has got enough of drainage holes in uh, underneath so that the excess of water can seep through um, and the water is not sitting your plant is not sitting in the soggy soil so once you put your soil mix in there make a tiny little hole and you put your cutting your propagated cutting into this make sure you do not put it very deep into the soil because the new leaves and the new growth will start coming from where the roots are emerging so if you plant it too deep the new growth will struggle to come up um, to the surface for sunlight and air so just keep it um, a little bit on the top and do not press the soil too much because if you press the soil too much it will become very much compacted and the tiny little fragile roots will struggle to breathe so just a little bit of the patting and that's it so i'll give you one tip over here that before you prepare your uh, before you start putting your plant into this into the pot always make sure that your mm, cocoa peat or coco coir is moist just water it a little bit before you put it into your pot because um, this way you will not end up over watering um, you'll keep the soil is moist and now once I have potted my peperomia cutting I'm not going to water it because when I'm touching it I can feel that it the soil is very much moist and it can work without water for a week 
and after the week I'll again check the soil and then I'll water my cutting. Always make sure that the soil remains moist till you see the new growth on the surface of the soil. Keep it moist but not soggy at the same time um, and keep it in a nice warm brightly lit area um, so that the the development of the new growth and the new plant is quick. Once it is nice and well established, you can keep it wherever you want. And do not fertilize it. Even if you see tiny little um, leaves coming on top, do not fertilize it. Let the plant grow a little bit more, like more than a baby. Um, and then you start fertilizing your plant. Before that, your plant will be happy with just the cocoa peat and water. That's it. Um, if you wish, you can add a little bit of uh, worm castings or compost on top, but that's also not required as per my suggestions. But it's it depends on you if you wish. You can add to it but um, it's really not required so I'll just move you a little bit up there so basically this was all about potting the same way you can do um, the, this one as well you just put it in the soil like that like that and done that's it and the new growth will be uh, will start establishing itself so friends, this was all about the soil that you need for potting your propagated peperomia cuttings and some of the quick tips. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please give us a thumbs up if you really liked it and don't forget to subscribe for our new releases every week and we'll see you next time with another exciting video. Till then, stay safe. Happy gardening. Bye-bye.